Hi guys, my name is Danielle and I am a first year DPT student at Florida International University. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about my experience in the whole application process and just five tips and five things that I wish I knew before I applied to PT school. The first thing that I wish I knew when I applied to PT school was just the cost that everything would be when applying. When it came to the GRE, um, the, the applications for different schools, and just the traveling money that it would take for me to go to the different schools I applied to out of state. So for example, the GRE was $205, and I personally had to take it twice. And I applied to schools all over California, and I'm from Florida, so I didn't take into account like the amount of money it would cost to buy a plane ticket, to stay in a hotel, to pay for food. And then once I got there, seeing how much out of state fees cost to even attend that school, it was kind of like I wasted money. So my biggest thing would be stay local because the big school names don't necessarily matter. And it's better to be cost efficient than to spend a lot of money and take out a whole bunch of extra loans to move somewhere Far without any you know financial help if you don't have it and basically just save money because if I would have went all the way to California I would have been taking out double the loans that I'm even taking out now the second thing I wish I knew before applying was what accreditation meant I thought that if there was a PT school and it existed then it was accredited and I could go three years and then take my boards and be totally fine and get my license but in reality some schools they aren't accredited which means that you can go through three three years of this program and if they don't become accredited you can't even take your boards which means you can't even be a therapist and I didn't realize that for two schools that I applied to and I didn't realize until I got to the interview process and I would read up on the school a little bit more, you know, they're about me, and I would see like pending accreditation. And I was like, what does that even mean? And I would go to the interview and I asked and they would say, oh, well, we're not accredited just yet, but we should be in a year or two and we have to wait till the first class fully finishes. And that's just an empty promise. And uh, directors are gonna tell you that, but they can't guarantee that. And I felt like I wasted my time and money once again, going to these schools that weren't accredited. And even though I did get into these schools, I automatically had to tell myself no, because I couldn't go to a program where I was going to be unsure if I was even gonna be able to take my boards after three years. The third thing I wish I knew before I applied to PT school was deposits. So basically when you get accepted into a school, Many like PT schools make you put up money. So they make you put down a deposit. So for many of the schools that I applied to, it ranged from 300 to $1,000. And if you are applying to many schools at one time, five to 10 schools, and you start hearing back from these schools and they tell you, hey, you have to put down $500 to hold your spot. And if you don't, then you lose your seat and it's not guaranteed anymore and they give you only about two weeks every school gives you only two weeks so if you get into three four schools in a span of a month and you have to put down hundreds of dollars for each school that adds up to thousands especially if you're waiting to hear back from the other schools that you applied to and you haven't even gone on interviews yet and that's what happened to me i heard back from three schools and my number one choice was not even emailing me yet to get an interview and I had to make a decision. Am I gonna put down money and hold this spot or am I gonna forego this and just hope and pray that I do get into my number one choice? And I put down money for one school and I deferred the other two schools. And thank God for me, like my last choice is the school I attend, FIU. And they have no deposit, so that was awesome. And I, I only wasted $300, but I know people that wasted thousands of dollars because they applied to 10 plus schools and they put down those deposits just to ensure that they would have schools to fall back on. So, yeah. so the fourth thing I wish I knew was that there aren't as many scholarships as you think. In undergrad, you might have gotten a scholarship 
from your undergrad school or you had bright future that's what it's called in florida or whatever for whatever statewide um scholarship that your state provides but in pt school there really isn't a lot of scholarships and before i applied i had the mentality hey i'm gonna apply for all the scholarships i'm gonna write these essays i'm gonna get something and i won't come out of pocket or take out a whole bunch of loans just to go to PT school because for me I did not have to pay for undergrad thankfully because I was an athlete and I did get scholarships to run track and academics so I still had that mentality that all those scholarships were still out there and that they were pretty easy and accessible and if you google physical therapy scholarships there really aren't many and the big legit ones are through APTA which is the um, association for physical therapy and those are really hard to get and they are very very limited and it's not really often that a school specifically will give you a scholarship for PT or the PT program gives scholarships for you know many students so that's one thing to definitely keep in mind to not bank on scholarships and to prepare yourself like hey I'm gonna have to take out loans and that was really big for me because I've never taken out loans before and that is really it's really scary you know um, you just look at it like oh I a lot of people tell you oh you can't work in PT school you can't do this you can't do that um, that's also a myth because a lot of my classmates do work and I do work as well and but you don't work full-time and you are gonna have that debt so definitely keep that in mind that don't bank on scholarships and just get in the mindset that you probably will have to take out loans if you can't financially fund it yourself. The last and final thing that I wish I knew before applying was not getting caught up in the name of the school. That honestly does not matter. What matters is their passing rate at the end of three years. Are you gonna get that license that says I can practice, I am a doctor of physical therapy. And a lot of people get caught up in the big name schools that are ranked one, two, you know, ranked pretty high up there, which is awesome. But I've learned um, that your ranking doesn't come from your passing rate in the school. It comes from the research that is involved of the school. So if, you're, if that school is just very involved in research and they get a lot of funding and they do a lot of um, research and they get basically nationally recognized for it, then that's how they get their ranking. It's not that they have a 100% passing rate or anything like that. It's because that they're just very involved in research. So don't look at schools by name. I would say look at the passing rate and then from there look at it as do I want to go to a school that is really big on research because that is the path I really want to take as a physical therapist or do I want to go to a school that is very clinician based and right after I know I'm going to be practicing PT and that's all I want to do or do I want to go to school that's half and half you know and it's kind of hard to say so early in the game before you even learn the ins and outs of physical therapy when you start school to decide like hey I want to be this or hey I want to be that because you're not getting the exposure until you get into school and no matter what even if you want to be a researcher when you get out of school you're going to have to be a clinician you're gonna to have to work with that patient PT care and get that experience first before you even transition to be like a full-time researcher or teacher and so and I know that's like the majority of people get into PT for is that helping people and like physically hands-on so definitely don't focus on the name look at that passing rate you know and definitely ask questions in your interviews because it's not just um am I is this school like a perfect fit for me? You know, they want to know if you're a perfect fit for them too. And it needs to be both, like it needs to be both of you guys, not just oh, I need to get to any school. No, because where you go to school really matters. The people matter, the professor matters. So really dig deep when you are researching and just focus on passing rate and their morals, not just the name of the school. So I know that was five quick things and people probably have a million other questions um, that I did not discuss in this video that I do still think are important and um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that any anybody that's applying to PT school or already is in PT school and they wonder what my program's like, um, but definitely um, 
you can reach out to me. Um, my, I will be tagged. My handle will be tagged in this, my Instagram handle. Um, so definitely reach out, ask whatever questions you like. I love getting people in my DMs asking me about PT school and what they should do and just the prereqs or whatever. What is it like? Because that's a myth sometimes, like what PT school really is like, that it's so stressful or something. But in reality, like there's more to it than what people see on the outside. So yeah, definitely reach out.